So you guys know that I run a details bumper. I did customize it with a local fabricator, but <laughs> Sorry. Chris, what are you doing? Uh, season, season here. <laughs> but anyways, we have one more thing to install on this bumper. When I ordered it, I ordered the stubby with the radiator skid. And as you guys can tell, I haven't installed that. So that's what we're going to do today. As you can tell, I don't know how I hit it here, but it's bent already. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. We have the piece over here. We're going to go ahead and sand it down because it does have some rust. It's been sitting for a year. And shout out to Detail. We actually got an exclusive offer before Black Friday. We're giving you guys the deal. So make sure to use this code right here on Detail's website. Anyways, let's continue with this install. Another thing we're gonna be installing is, I had ordered these about a year ago as well. I just never installed them. I forgot the name of the company, but I'll have them linked down below. These give you the hex look on the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in. I had lost the straps that hold it on the back, but we're just gonna use some washers and nuts and that should hold it in place. So we're finishing up the painting. I also did paint this grill because I had tried to do a black chrome and it just did not look good. So. We're doing a bed liner. Even Chris agrees. Mm -hmm. I don't like them. <laughs> it's not good. And this is a new grill too, but it does have a crack. That's how I got it. So it is what it is. I'm going to throw it on there. So I guess we're going to start cutting off this piece here. Probably going to start here at this line. And then if we need to go up, we'll go up. And you guys know, I recommend, let me see the can. The turbo can, truck bed grade. That stuff sprays on really well. It's a wide fan too. So like it literally covers the whole thing. And it drives quick. Look at the coverage on this thing. That's second layer and it's already almost done. Needs, I would say one more on this piece, but that stuff is amazing. Spray booth. Spray booth, and I have that link down below. Look at that. Don't worry about the oil leak, all right? <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it up and see. Like I said, if I need to cut it more, if not, we're gonna send it. This thing does have the holes for the radiator. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna undo these bolts here, put it up and then put the bolts in and that should hold it. It's pretty simple to do. And these rubber pieces here, there is a hole on the radiator skid right here where it goes into. So everything is like stuck. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna be covering all the radiators so you don't damage it and it does have holes so you do have airflow going through there and like i said it's pretty much bolt on once you have one of these bumpers on there all right so i took the bolt off i have one in the back holding the bumper up and the front two that hold on to the radiator skid are out let's go ahead and put the radiator skid into place I got a complete bumper now. Let's go. Ah, damn. Hey, whose bumper is it? Whose bumper? Details bumper. Sheesh. This thing looks legit now. Hell yeah. Hit him with that B-roll. Look at that. So anyways, that is the install on the radiator support down here. Super easy install, especially if you have a detail bumper. It just bolts right in. And that thing looks amazing, dude. Way better than that bar that I had before with the radiator exposed. So now it's actually protected. And like I said, the holes do still give it airflow. So, so we are now good. And also, like I said, the rubber supports that hold the radiator, they do fit in the stuck location pretty much. So everything's being held on really good nice and tight what do you guys think about the radiator support and also don't forget to use the code for detail you guys are getting the black friday deal before it comes out so make sure to use it and i forgot to show you guys the finished product of the grill and i did find out the company it's excessive design so i have them linked down below for these to work they only work on the regular grill so if you have the limited with the rings around it will not work also it does come with straps which i lost so i ended up using washers and i didn't paint them black i just threw them on there i think i will go ahead and take them apart and paint them black as well and this is from the stock grill these you can actually cut out 
so it only shows the hexagon which i think i will do as well it doesn't look bad how it is though especially standing back five feet you really won't notice these lines but i do and i will change that so i think once i cut those out and then paint the washers black it'll look 100 percent. but so far this looks really good and i'm really happy with it in combination with the radiator skid down here it complements it really well let me know in the comments section if you guys would rock this hexagon pattern on your grill i think it looks really great but i know it's probably not for everybody but it definitely does look like it cleans up the front of the car kind of hard to get a good angle of the whole jeep but the hexagon does look pretty good anyways that'll be it for today's video next we're gonna work on chris's jeep we got a bumper for him too so let's go ahead and install that on the next video so be on the lookout anyways we'll see you on the next one peace